this black box is basically a mini electric motorcycle, the Roadrunner Pro, sent to us by Vora Motors, and I am excited to check this out. Bigger motors, bigger battery, speeds of up to 50 miles per hour plus. So I'm pretty stoked about this mini motorcycle. We've tested previous versions and this promises to be something special. Let's get it unboxed, set up, and then we'll take it for a test drive. So we had plastic wrap, foam, cardboard box, insulated cardboard, more foam. So this thing is packaged really well, really protected. Heavy duty. Off the bat, this thing is much more aggressive looking than the previous generation. So it comes with the handlebar riser. So we'll put the handlebars on. With all the spacers on, you'll see it kind of sticks up a little bit on the riser. I'm gonna mount it flush, so I'm just gonna take away one riser piece, and then now it's nice and flush. The Voro Motor Roadrunner is one of the only PEVs that we've ridden in multiple states. We've ridden this in Colorado, Nevada, Southern California, Ew. and I recently rode this in, in Hawaii. So this is a, kind of an all-around cruiser where you can ride it just about anywhere. And it came in pretty good shape. There's some dust. It's quite dusty. Let's show us how we get this dust off. And we do have a little bit of paint damage here. And we'll just touch that up with a little spray paint. All right, so Andrew, what are some of the differences between this and the previous generation? First is this big comfy seat. The last one was pretty thin and hard. There's a new tail light, TFT colored display. The old display was kind of lackluster. Supposedly we're getting a sneak peek of what the display will look like on the E-Move Roadster. We've got a domino twist shifter. The last one would have a plastic thumb throttle. It just wasn't that great, it was pretty cheap. We've got zoom hydraulic brakes. Zoom two piston hydraulic brakes where the previous ones were hybrid hydraulic brakes where the line was mechanical and then there was just hydraulic fluid at the brake caliper. Nice bright light, let's turn this bad boy on. So that's bright. And the previous model had turn signals as well. They were not that bright. Oh, motorcycle horn. Woke up Milo over there. <laughs> <laughs> What's up Milo, we're just filming. Yep, and the horn's coming from right there. And bigger motors. These motors in the front, the front used to have a 350 watt motor and the rear used to have a 500 watt motor. They are dual 2000 watt motors. So 2000 watts in the front and 2000 watts in the rear. Zoom hydraulic brakes and then a split rim. So this is pretty neat. They've introduced a split rim to make tire changes easy and it's gonna be a tubeless pneumatic tire. Easy tire changes. And when you say split rim, you're talking, you can see split down the middle, right? How does that make tire changes easier? So before in the past, to have a tubeless pneumatic tire, you had to have a solid rim. To get the tire off of that rim could be very painful. Now that you can open up the rim, you should be able to slide the tire out and put the tubeless pneumatic tire over it for an easy tire change and just clamp that together. Moving to the rear, let's look at these turn signals. Oh, those are sweet. Yeah, that was much better. The previous one used to have what looked like a Wonder Woman design and little tiny LED lights in the corners that had turn signals. This thing shows you the full direction and then let's go the opposite direction. Yeah, and let's see what the brake light looks like. And let's see, is there light on? So with the lights off, it flashes. With the lights on, it's on solid and then flashes when you go to brake. Rear suspension. The previous model did not have rear suspension on it. Much better front suspension. The, the previous model had front suspension and it was dual forks, but this one just looks a lot beefier and stronger. I think it's pretty much identical to the Cabo suspension. You have an easy disconnect for the motor cable up front. So they've made it easy disconnect on the motor cable and a split rim to make tire changes a breeze. One other big thing that changed on this is that it's a 60 volt, 30 amp hour battery. So they've upgraded it from a 48 amp hour battery to a 60 volt battery. It's LG battery cells and it's 1800 watt hours. So it's a pretty massive battery. The battery's removable if you wanna charge it inside your house, but just make sure you take these steps before you take it out. First would be turning the key to off and then pushing it in to the unlock position. There's a battery cable that you need to pull out and then it should just slide right out. 60 volt, 30 amp hour battery, 1800 watt hours. When you go to put this back in, make sure you got the track in place. So you're gonna feel some resistance if you're not on the track. So it should slide in nice and easy. There we go. 
connect the battery cable, nice and thick 10 gauge cable, and then use the key to lock it back into place. You can go through the speed settings on the display, and then you can see the motor temps. This is always good, so you can prevent overheating. Looks like a lot of major upgrades. The previous version is more portable. Foldable handlebars, much lighter, something that you can just put in and out of your car without any problems, and something you can use to zip around and have a lot of fun. This, on the other hand, is for the extreme enthusiast who wants a mini electric motorcycle feel. This thing will go fast. This is being sold alongside the previous version. We're going to get this plugged in so we can get a freshly charged battery and then go take it for a spin. The charge port is right down here. We are going to let this charge up so we've got a freshly charged battery for when we take it for a test spin. In the meanwhile, we're gonna get our safety gear on. All right, Andrew, you've been ripping around on this. What do you think about the Voro Roadrunner Pro? It's a major upgrade. A lot more nimble. The previous Roadrunner, it's nice, but it's just clunky how it rides. This is super maneuverable. And it's a lot quicker, way faster. Yeah, for me, I think it's all about the power. I think the power is the biggest thing. The power and the suspension. This thing is heavy duty and powerful and the suspension makes it a lot smoother. I was worried there would be too much power just the talk of all this power in this device, but I feel it's nicely balanced. So we went through the mud, and now my peg's a little wet, my shoes are a little wet. Because there's no spikes on there, it is a little slippery. I think a little grip tape on there, I'll fix it right up though. There's a couple things. I mean, it's it's making a few noises here and there. We're gonna have to work those out. I'm not sure if it's something that came from shipping or what, but we'll have to work out those noises, put some more miles on it, and then we'll give you guys our full review. All right, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and when you guys ride, wear your safety gear.